welcome to my next lecture so in my uh, previous lectures uh, we have seen about uh, soil phase relationships in that so we have uh, seen volume relationship weight relationship volume mass relationship volume weight relationship and interrelationship so in my previous classes we have ended up with the first four interrelationships first four relationships volume weight volume mass and volume weight in today's class we are going to discuss about phase interrelationships what is phase interrelationships previously the four are different there's a uh, those are kind of an interrelationships. relationships interrelationship is a little bit different so i can give you an, an example for this uh, we are doing an bank transactions so intra beneficiary if you add account for a, a bank transaction intra bank beneficiary option is there and intra bank beneficiary option is there what is intra bank beneficiary in the sense as you know if you are transacting the money for a, a same bank of different branches city union bank of different branches say ramnagar or satyamangalam so like that same branch same bank of different branches that is intra bank beneficiary inter bank beneficiary different branches of axis bank uh, city union bank state bank indian bank and university bank if you do transactions among different banks that is inter bank beneficiary so with that example i can give you an explanation for this inter relationships inter relationship in the sense so we have seen that four relationships if you are using that four relationships as a mingled that is nothing but inter relationships which means you are relating the weight relationships with volumetric relationships or volume mass relationships or volume weight relationships that is nothing but inter relationships so why we are using this inter relationships in the sense for example uh, you are having an uh, soil sample take collecting collected at the site for your uh, design purposes now you wanted to calculate you wanted to calculate y ratio for example to uh, analyze the uh, compressibility behavior of soil for example now y ratio is not an uh, easy task to find as you know y ratio is vv by vs you may not find what is vv and uh, vs you are simply having an a sample in your hand you may not judge what is in volume of voids present inside the soil it is very difficult to find it is a difficult task so this interrelationship will help you to find out y ratio very easily how in the sense you are uh, going you are uh, taking a help of volume weight relationship or volume mass relationships which means you are taking a sample from a site and you are uh, weighing the weight of the particular sample in your sampling by the weighing balance you can say what is in y ratio of that particular sample it is very easy so with this introduction i'll start the uh, today's class we are going to see some of the some derivation parts and uh, using that derivation parts we'll be about to solve one or two problems so that is then uh, overall of this lecture so with this concept let me start with then phase interrelationships so this phase in interrelationships void ratio porosity p and srr sometimes yes W, specific gravity of solids G S, and unit weight of something bulk or dry or saturated or submerged unit weight. So like that, it may go. So as you see, phase interrelationships. I have wrote these three in red color and these three in uh, blue color. So this can be found through laboratory very easily. Water content can be. found through hot air oven for 24 hour observation specific gravity through pyknometer you can easily find and unit weight is nothing but so we have a collecting a sample from a site like this um, mold so you know the volume of the mold because it is in a regular shape and you are you are uh, penetrating this hollow cylinder you are we have a cutting edges here 
so penetrating this hollow cylinder in the inside the ground surface and excavating that you will be uh, getting in some moist of soil contained in this regular volume once you put weight by volume you get gamma it is nothing but unit weight of soil so these three water content specific gravity and unit weight can be easily found through some testers but whereas your y ratio and porosity and degree of saturation so all these three are a uh, talk about the volumetric relations so that this cannot be easily found but we are going to use these three values majorly so these three values majorly to find out y ratio porosity and degree of saturation so that is nothing but as i have already described it is called interrelationships so because this is volumetric relation volumetric relation volumetric relation this is weight relation this is a density relation and this is volume weight relations so you are going to use all these things called interrelations now first start with for example i'm going to give an interrelationship among specific gravity y ratio and degree of saturation water content as you know specific gravity is defined by gamma s divided by gamma w it is nothing but so what is an unit weight of water if you comparing the unit weight of solids you get the influence of gravity so with respect to water so that is nothing but specific gravity so any material so what is an influence of gravity over comparing to the unit weight of water will give you the specific gravity value for sand it may be around 2.65 so clay it may be greater than 2.65 around value so it is lesser than 2.65 and it is greater than 2.65 so let me start with gs so ws as you know gamma is as you know ws divided by vs unit weight of water is ww divided by vw ws by vs into vw by ww now multiplying with this one there will be no any change so multiplying with one i am saying vv by vv is one now so let me take this values volume of so which means weight of solids we have weight of water remaining here and vb by vs here vw by vb here so ws by w w so this is water content you know as water divided by ws weight of dry soil what is an amount of water present so now you see this is an reciprocal so 1 by w as we wrote so vv by vs is nothing but y ratio as you know so this is vv vw by vv so what is an volume of water present to the total void ratio to the total volume of voids degree of saturation so here we have gs so we can rewrite this as in gsw equals to sre it is an very very important interrelationships so what i have done is nothing but i have started with specific gravity and gamma is by gamma w i'm going through this i'm just doing uh, some uh, subtraction uh, multiplication and divisions so you get gsw equals to degree of saturation multiplication with y ratio so let us keep this as 1 now 2 so gamma bulk is by weight by volume it can be ws plus ww because it is a tie and this is weight of water 
so it is gamma bulk represents it is it may be partially saturated so v s plus v v which consists of volume of solids plus volume of dry so here weight of dry equals to weight of air equals to zero we won't consider the weight of air in this case so once you have taking out the gamma weight of solids outside you get 1 plus w w divided by w s so divided by in the same case we are taking out v s outside 1 plus v v by v s so we can write this w s 1 plus water content divided by v s v v by v f 1 plus e So, comma bulk equals to W S 1 plus W V S 1 plus E. Now, this can be written in terms of this W S by V S can be written in terms of gamma S because W S divided by volume of solids as well as as you know G s equals to gamma s divided by gamma w we are replacing this with the help of this gamma s equals to g s gamma w now gamma s 1 plus w divided by 1 plus e substituting this value here you get g s gamma w 1 plus w divided by 1 plus e standing equation for gamma bulk so what is an another important term so with the help of this two equations 1 and 2 you can derive so many equations I'll give you that for example gamma bulk it is a very very simple equation so gs gamma w so when you multiplying gs inside gs w divided by 1 plus e so it is in a different modified form of the same equation now as you know gamma bulk has partially saturated partially to fully saturated it means so you can use degree of saturation as derived in the last equation so gamma w g s plus g s w can be replaced with s r e divided by 1 plus e it is in different form of the same equation let us take it as an equation 3 because when you log of water content data you can use degree of saturation and y ratio degree of saturation and y ratio you can use when you doesn't have what water content so you can use degree of saturation when in the question the data given as degree of saturation now so in present case it, if it is fully saturated if your sample is given as in fully saturated so gamma w g s plus s tends to 1 so you so s tends to 1 so you are remaining e only so 1 plus e so it is in different equation when in the question it is given as in fully saturated or that your sample collected is below water table so you have collected your sample so below water table or it is represented as fully saturated you can substitute s as a 1 so you get this type of different equation now fully dry fully dry, dry sample so s tends to be 0 so gamma w g s plus 0 divided by 1 plus e so this is taking the form of g s gamma w divided by 1 plus e so it is nothing but gamma dry equals to g s gamma w divided by 1 plus e so it is an another important formula so next term now 
what you can do is you can convert this into next form see you can gamma dry values here so with my second equation gamma bulk equals to gs gamma w divided by 1 plus e into 1 plus w is my second equation so if you substitute this here gs gamma w by 1 plus e in the second equation you get gamma bulk equals to gamma dry into 1 plus w so it is in different form so let me take it as in 6 so our, this can be also rewritten into so gamma bulk divided by 1 plus w when you have gamma bulk as an answer you can find gamma dry value with the help of water content found by the hot air oven hot air oven test at uh, 110 degrees celsius 24 hours so very simple test so you can find gamma dry as an answer once you find gamma dry as an answer so you can find y ratio which you have already using the specific gravity you have already found through laboratory it is a very simple test so up to equation 6 by just using equation 1 and 2 you are going up to the equation 6 you can derive very simply let us look into the gamma dash gamma sach minus gamma w as you know so this can be gamma w g s plus e divided by 1 plus e you are we are taking the equation of fourth substituting here because degree of saturation as one so you get this form what is gamma w value say it is simply written in gamma w so we have to multiplying with both numerator and denominator g s plus e divided by 1 plus e minus gamma w 1 plus e divided by 1 plus e so minus 1 and minus e we get so this plus e and minus e get cancelled so g s minus 1 divided by 1 plus e stands for gamma sub material this is also playing in very very major role so it is an interrelations with 7 so starting from 1 to 7 we are we have just done a very simple numerator and denominator multiplication and divide subtraction very simple thing you have some other interrelationships so anyhow we are going to use that seven basic interrelationships only through in our problems we have some other relationships so it takes some uh, some of uh, time so we'll just directly skipping into the final form eighth one is in relation to gamma dry 1 minus n a g gamma w divided by 1 plus w it is in relation among gamma d percentage r voids water content and specific gravity gamma w next unit weight of water submerged unit weight of soil minus 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 divided by 1 plus e into gamma w tenth one for gamma bulk gamma dry plus gamma sash minus gamma w so i am stopping with this so about uh, we have a uh, 10 relationships so previously as we have stopped with the seven relationships those are derived with basic y ratio porosity water content degree of saturation like that so it is very simple and this is little bit taking off some time so i'm directly skipping this to here so if we solve some problems it will be very helpful to you the ratio of gamma sach to gamma dry is 1.25 the specific gravity of solids 
is 2.56. determine y ratio so what they have given is gamma such to gamma drive value 1.25 and specific gravity is 2.56 so they are asking for y ratio e so as i have already told y ratio is a volumetric thing vv by vs so there is a lack of information about vv by vs because it cannot be easily found so we have an indirect measurements of gamma sach and gamma dry as you are taking directly in a mouth so weight by volume as a known volume easily give you gamma sach and gamma dry value can be taken from water content value as stopped with the previous relationships so how to proceed this so gamma sach is given by gs plus e divided by 1 plus e into gamma w divided by g s gamma w divided by 1 plus e is nothing but gamma dry so this is in ratio is 1.25 so g s plus e divided by 1 e into gamma w 1 plus e will be going up divided by g s gamma w get cancelled this is equals to 1.25 as they have told so now in the left hand side we have an unknown values of y ratio only because gs is known value so in right hand side is a numerical value so the unknown e can be easily found this can be also striked out because the same term so e can be easily found out so 2.56 plus e divided by 2.56 1.25 we get answer y ratio as 0 0.64 so it's a very simple formula Now we have a second problem to solve. The mass of a chunk of moisture soil is 20 kg and its volume is 0 0.011 m cube. After drying in an oven, the mass reduces to 16.5 kg. Determine water content density they have given. So just write row bulk row dry void ratio porosity and degree of saturation take specific gravity g equals to 2.70 so this is what our task to find water content row bulk row dry y ratio and and degree of saturation so almost we have to find six terms within simple data collected from the site so data given are nothing but mass so it is wet as you know so 20 kg so written as mass of wet sample and respective volume is 0.011 m cube so after drying in an oven so it is reduced to dry mass of this amount so they have given specific gravity value so let us start the problem solution how to find it is very simple thing so it is an example character from the site and they are asking for all this when you have data observed is this so if you are looking this you can easily find water content first term so water content is nothing but so mass of water to the mass of dry soil so mass of dry is given mass of water how to find so it is in mass of wet sample and this is mass of dry sample so when you subtracting mass of wet to the from the no, subtracting the mass of dry from the mass of wet you will be getting mass of water only so mass of water to the mass of dry 
mass of water is 20 minus 16.5 divided by mass of dry is 16.5 so we get the answer as 21.21 percentage let's find row bulk as you know mass by volume is row bulk so you have to take wet sample weight as in 20 kg divided by the respective volume 0 0.011 so here it plus kg so for a time in one cube so get value of 8.1818.18 kg per m cube so which means per m cube if you fill the sample it will be about 1.8 tons if the same is filled with rcc rcc will weight 2500 kg per m cube which means 2.5 tons road dry can be easily found either by the total volume mass of dry at gs gamma w 1 plus e through which you can find so let us first find mass of dry is given so 16.5 divided by same volume so you get answer as in 1500 kg per m cube as you comparing this so when it has an water percentage 21.2 percentage the weight goes to 1818 here 1500 only so about 300 kg per m cube is varying because of this 21 percentage of moisture content so these are the things you should have keep in mind so you know road right g is rho w divided by 1 plus e sir as you you just taught us gamma dry is g is gamma w divided by 1 plus e but you are putting you are using rho dry here so it is nothing but so wherever you are finding the gamma value just replace with rho it is very easy so the same this is also represents the same meaning of this so wherever you are find gamma just replace with rho it will be the same answer So road dry value as you know 1500 kg so gs is given 2.7 so rho w it is in 1000 kg per m cube here it is kg per m cube divided by 1 plus e so y ratio can be easily found through this 0.8 the what is the next thing they are asking for is porosity what is porosity can be easily done by e divided by 1 plus e so it is 0 0.8 divided by 1.8 will be getting an answer in terms of percentages so unit you have to be very careful so water contained in percentage rho bulk kg per m cube rho dry kg per m cube and this y ratio no unit so porosity in terms of percentage only we say so 44.44 percentages Next thing is degree of saturation. Degree of saturation as equals to actually it is, but we have to. There are no relations telling you VW and VB, so we have interrelations. Is GSW equals to SRE. So we already found Y ratio. So using that Y ratio. SR equals to RS equals to GS gamma W GSW divided by it is G is 2.7 into water content is 21.21 percentage but while substituting this you have to substitute as 0 0.2121 divided by Y ratio 0 0.8 so you get the value of uh, 71.58 percentage actually it is 0 0.7158 so we have to Telling in terms of percentages, so 71.58 percentages is an answer. So let me solve a small problem. So it is an, uh, another problem. A sample of saturated soil has an water content value 25 percentage 
and bulk density gamma bulk is 20 kN per m cube so they are asking for determine dry density void ratio specific gravity g is and what would be the bulk unit weight of the same soil with same void ratio but degree of saturation is 80 percentage take gamma w is 10 kilo per meter cube so they are given water content and gamma bulk they are asking for gamma dry void ratio and specific gravity so it is enough just like they can first case second case they are asking for what would be the bulk unit weight of the same soil with same void ratio but degree of saturation is 80 percentage so in this case they have not mentioned degree of saturation but they are specifically asking when degree of saturation what will be the gamma bulk so what is then a uh, formula you are going to about to pick it is nothing but it is hiding here saturated sample so we have to use gamma sats with gs gamma w divided by 1 plus wg 1 plus w so we have an ended up with a 1 plus e here supposed to i am supposed to write 1 plus e so wg is so when degree of saturation s stands for 1 e equals wg can be replaced because y ratio value it is missing and so you are about to find so instead of you cannot use this equation so gamma sats value so specific gravity specific gravity also you have to find so this can be used to find specific gravity whereas gamma sats an answer so 20 here so g is so 10 divided by 1 plus 10 into g is so water content value they are given 1.25 so w is 25 gamma bulk is 20 kN per m cube so substituting here you get gs value as 2.67 so first thing has found out so specific gravity found out so sr equals to wgs so s is 1 so e equals to 0.25 into 2.67 well, the answer is 0.67 second one found out gamma dry is g s gamma w divided by 1 plus e and g is 2.67 and gamma w tends 1 plus 0.67 you get the value as 15 point so it is the third thing but as in different case here as i have already told you so in this cases degree of saturation is 100 percentage because of it is fully saturated now is case is changing to degree of saturation is 80 percentage what is in gamma bulk they are asking for so use the same relation so sr equals to wgs so the water content is about to change so 0 0.8 into 0 0.67 what is in water content is then value because g is 2.67 so this won't change and y ratio won't change as they have mentioned same y ratio so w is in changing one so it is finally given as an instead of this instead of this we can find gamma bulk 
so g plus s c divided by using the direct formula 2.67 plus 0.8 into 0.67 divided by 1 plus 0.67 into 10 so the answer is very simply we found as 19.2 so we will be ended up with w and w can be taken to this equation and can be found out easily so otherwise we can use this value also use this formula also direct formula so we'll be solving an next interesting problem fourth one the volume of soil for national highway national highway required is 10 power 5 m cube and y ratio is 0 0.7 determine determine the soil to be borrowed if the y ratio of borrow pit is 0.5 so in this case say we have an borrow pit like this soil the soil are excavated from this borrow pit it means in so it is in borrow pit case so we are excavating a soil as a construction material and it is going to be used as an for national highway embankment so this is going to be a road and this is embankment so the soil excavating from this borrow pit is going to be made up over this ground surface to carry over for an flyover elevation so this is a road which is going to be a run here and this is meeting in a flyover for this case you are doing this embankment so for this construction soil as an we are going to be using some construction material so let us write given so what they are given volume of soil national highway required so this is a required value is 10 power 5 m cube and y ratio is 0.7 e this is total volume so the wall the determine the soil to be borrowed so what is in total volume of soil to be borrowed may be required here with y ratio as identified at the site is 0.5 so it is in very interesting and logical here so coming to the solution part so we have a borrow pit sorry embankment first embankment data is only given so embankment so as you know y ratio is vv by vs so it is given as total volume so we are vv and vs we need so vv can be written as v minus vs and vs as vs so 10 power 5 is given minus vs divided by vs y ratio is given 0.7 so we can find vs here so vs as a 80 58,823.513 so as you know it is in a phase relationship so air water and solids so V is volume is this much so this V volume of voids as 0.7 so volume of voids is playing role as in 0.7 so with this vs so as we are ended up with vs as 58823.m cube of solids of solids so with when the solids can be make up this can be make up to with an different void ratio so sorry about it doesn't it is this solids 
is about to make an a soil of with y ratio 0.7 whereas your borrow pit borrow pit y ratio is just a 0.5 which means 0.5 y ratio and 0.7 y ratio this is a little bit and lesser y ratio which means it is denser which means this is looser comparing to this so once you which means you collect lesser sample you can create a huge volume of sample so that that is nothing but so he, here it is 0 0.5 equals to vv by vs minus so v is v is our target which is going to be excluded from this this borrow pit so v is as find so 58,823.5 divided by so v is 58,823.5 so here 0 0.5 so volume borrow pit which is going to be excavated out of this V 88,235.26 m cube. So here you are in a need of 1 lakh 1 lakh m cube for this embankment but if you just excavate 88,000 of volume of soil from the borrow pit you can make up this volume that is as I have explained this is in void lesser void ratio sample this is in little bit higher void ratio sample so with this example problems I am finishing so with this example problems I am finishing this lecture today so we will be seeing in my next lecture thank you